Hello chaps and it's time again for another another project yes and this one definitely is a project this is um this is a kit sent to me by Simon Simon Kemp and uh, it's a kit that Simon had already started yep he'd already started it he was going to do it for um, a barn he was building he was going to have the uh, the panther inside we just give it away no, it's a panther I'm sure it's on the title anyway but he was going to have the panther inside in the barn uh, with the you know, with the engine bay exposed and guys walking away in the engine. So he built the barn, then he built the panther. When well, he got the panther, should I say? I kind of realised he hmm, won't fit. A bit too much. A bit too big. I'd have to go for something smaller. So uh, he would started the panther. Uh, he built the, some bits of it. Uh, put it back in the box. Up in the shelf. So then in chatting away with Simon he asked me did I want it and me being me yep I said yeah drop it over send it over to me I'll, I, I'll, I'll do something with it so Simon sent me over this uh, it's a, it's obviously it's a Zvezda box so it's a Zvezda Panther and uh, I'll just switch the camera down so we can see what I'm talking about and I won't even turn off the computer I'll just turn it straight down Okay, there we go. Oh. Stay up there. Stay up there. Please stay up. Tighten up that. That might stay up. Wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Okay. So he sent me over this. And uh, this is not your typical unboxing that's why I'm not calling the video uh, unboxing I call it sort of unboxing of sorts no I won't call it that I'll figure out something to call the video um, still don't know still don't know so uh, anyway this is what we've got okay we've got it's a uh, Panzer Kampfwagen 5 Panther auf D German medium tank okay it's a uh, Vesda, the Vesda kit. Um, the instruction booklet is booklet, booklet form. Okay, and good old Simon, he's marked off the bits he's done. Okay, in uh, in yellow highlighter. I use green, but Simon used yellow. And he built, you know, he built up the turret, some sections of the turret. Okay. Not all of it, but some of it. Alright. So there we go. Now I don't know how far he's gotten. Um, he hasn't got any of the breach marked off, so I don't even know if he's got any of the breach done or not. Uh, Alright, we've got our tracks then. Um, are they link in length or are they pieces? I don't know. Sort of seems to be kind of strips and bits to go over the strips yeah it's kind of a weird one we'll have a look at it we'll see how they go anyway um, then we've got the, uh, the, the the top piece goes on to that around to our engine deck uh, engine covers front mantlet piece there two racks bits and pieces we all know panthers panthers it's my favorite german tank um yeah, i love the panther i really did i even remember as a kid it was it was my favorite um we've got our uh front mudguard sections and we've got our side armor okay and then we're fitting into the turret and then we got some color marking now schemes for it and I was thinking, I've been thinking now for a while with this one since he, since he sent it over to me and I was looking on the internet and I found a story of um, the Americans captured one and painted it green and named it and everything. Now I, I've been looking around and I can't seem to find where I found it from but it's easy enough, I'll just google captured panther I'm sure it'll come up because it was, I mean, one of them was, it was, it was pretty famous or whatever. It's been photographed quite a few bits and pieces a few times. Um, 
and they basically drove it and used it until it broke down. That's about as much as the story as I know. I will develop more, I will uh, research it more once I start building and things like that. So, um, also it's got the, uh, the Tamiya engine tank engine maintenance crew set, which does come with the engines. If you remember going back, I put one of these engines into a Panzer IV, modified it a bit, yeah, and it's actually a, 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 an engine that will do either a Panther or a Tiger. But uh, we'll give it a go in this one anyway, okay? And I still have bar parts of the uh, of that dial because when I moved house, I'm fortunate to break down that dial, and um, I've all the I've all the figures here for it, and the ladder and a few other bits and pieces. So you never know, I might even make up a little dial again with it. Might go back and get the old dial and put a panther in there instead of a tiger. We don't know. We don't know. We'll see what I can do with it. Um, then again, because I'm making it American, then the figures won't work out right, will, will they? No, didn't think it, didn't think of that one out, John. But uh, anyway, we've got an engine for it as well. So there's our instructions. Now let's look at the bits. Okay. Now straight away, we've got the turret. Okay. Now the gun goes up and down. He did a nice job with the turret, I must admit. Very very clean, nice little gluing things. He's got the uh, smoke launchers on. Um, the copula is all nicely built up and uh, he has used the uh, interior the uh, gun breech and stuff so that's all in so we don't have to worry about any of that so the turret section is done now one thing I did notice is we've got a sort of a little gap here and the back of this is missing okay see that the back of that is missing and if we look at the instructions, we find out what that piece is supposed to look like. Get out our destructions. Choo, choo, choo. There we go. <coughs> That's supposed to have an extra piece at the back of it. See that there? Can we make that out? And there's the two vents. And that goes the whole way across. Right now they're looking at that from the from the underneath side, okay. But it still goes the whole way across. There is the top. We see it, okay. So this portion here is missing. So we'd have to uh, we'd have to find something to stick in there. Bit of uh, unless it's, unless it's loose in the bottom of that. Maybe it's cut it off and put it in there. We don't know. We'll find out very 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 soon. But that's the, that's the one thing I did notice, that, and that's about as far as I've gotten with it. I haven't looked at any other parts, so I looked at the turret and I looked at that bit and said, oh, this is going to be fun. Now, where that is sort of cut there, I wonder is that cut or was that a, a moulding problem, see it? So I don't know whether that was uh, Simon cutting into it or Zvezda not moulding it properly. Which is unusual for Zvezda, especially if this is uh, one of the one of these type kits is in this box. Um, I've done a couple of them, and they're usually quite good. So anyway, we've got we've got our turret and and, and and that section. Okay, so there we go. Let's see what we've left. Okay, we've got some decals. Like I said, I won't be using them. I'll be using American stars. We've got our lower hull. Okay, so we've got the lower hull. We've got, uh, yeah, it is Lincoln length tracks with that centre bit with the guide horn. So we've got a sort of centre bit here with the guide horns, and we've got the uh, outer pieces, centre bit and outer pieces. We've got wheels, drive sprockets, um, engine vent covers. What else have we got here? Um, We've got a few more little uh, hand uh, brackets and things. I'd say they might be off the um, off the uh, the add-on armor. We've got our uh, suspension wheels, or you know, the wheels go onto our suspension blocks or whatever they're called. Okay. Right. So that's that, and that's duplicated here. We've got two of them one for either side left and right says you right so you've got one two three four five six seven eight 
two, three, four, four sprues then of track. Okay, so we've got sort of two sections that have length, and the rest are all individuals. Um, they're made up with we've got our guide horn piece. See that there with the uh, hollowed out guide horns and all, very nice. And we've got our other section, so obviously one goes into the other, and then they all join up. We're going to have fun with them when we start. Tracker always fun. <laughs> oh, excuse me, they always sort of take forever, don't they? they it does, the track always takes forever. So we've got a, a nice little build up of uh, individual track links. Four sprues of them. Okay, and we've got two little sections then, a couple of little sections of uh, built in track. Right, no. That could be that piece that came out. Is it? Yes, 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 yes. That's that, that piece goes in there. Now did Simon cut that out the whole way? Was it all supposed to be one piece and Simon cut it out to get the engine in, I wonder. Do you know what that is? I think it's going to be back to the drawings again. Back to the drawing board. Let's have a look at the drawings and see what the drawings say. Was that the uh, was that originally in there and Simon cut it out? I'll pop that back in there. We'll have a look. No, was that was that how it was? Um, it's all been drilled out and everything. So let's have a look. Quick look. Still have it out. Yeah. So that piece is there. We're not missing anything. Okay. Um, Yeah, that fits in there quite nicely. Oh, level, nice and level with that. So that was cut out of there. So obviously that little cut then in this here was well Simon cutting a little bit close to the uh, to the wire. But like I said, once we put that back in and we fill around it and, and glue that back in, she'll be grand. Okay, so that piece is there anyway. Yippee. I'm not missing anything anyway. I don't about making something something weird. Now we're after getting another little set of decals. Listen, these are Zvezda decals. These are I think they I think they're dragon decals actually. I got to get I got to get me special specs because I'm blind as a bloody bat without them. Uh No, it doesn't say, it just says made in Italy. Now, being made in Italy would mean that they're Italieri, wouldn't it? But anyway, we've got, a, we've got an extra set of decals. So we've got these decals here, and we've got these ones here, okay? Pantherovsky, yeah, these are the Zvezda decals that came with it. I like those little sort of uh, panther heads. We've got some numbers and some German markings, and here we've got some more of the Balkan Christ German markings, and we've got some other little unit things and stuff. So we've got a couple of extra, couple of extra decals that always come in handy. Okay, that back for the uh, the old spare parts box. Right, next sprue. So we've got this sprue. So obviously this is where this. The engine body popped out of, or the the engine deck and the, the main deck popped out of. We've got our um, rear storage boxes. We've got um, our front mud flaps, fenders, whatever you want to call them. We've got the uh, underneath sponsons for the bits that make up fill up fill up in here so I don't have to go off making them which is great but yeah not that I don't mind making them right so we've got uh engine fan covers but didn't they come with the engine I don't see the engine in there hmm did I take that out earlier and put it somewhere else now that I think of it I think I did I think I have the engine somewhere else up there somewhere up on my shelves. But anyway, okay, so we've got uh, the, the fan pieces, we've got uh, 
our drive sprockets. Uh, we have one there. We have as our second drive sprocket. Okay, so we've got our drive sprockets. Our filling underneath, sponsony bits and pieces, and we've got our uh, side armor. Okay. Like I said, this is an unboxing of sorts. It's sort of my typical unboxing is in I don't know half the names of half the stuff that's on it. We've got the sprue here, and it's the sprue I'd say that's got. The, yep, it was all turret parts because we've got a few more turret parts. We've got the turret bin and things. Um, I'll probably I probably will make it up. Sure, why not? If it's there, I'll use it. So we've got the uh, the turret basket uh, base. Um, I presume these are the side pieces then for making up the basket and, and filling it out. Okay. And so we got now here. We've got uh yep, yeah, we've got our front armor piece. Okay. There we go, we've got our front armor and we've got our rear armor plate. Um we've got that tube for the uh, cleaning rods and things tube we've got a very very nicely molded uh, tow rope you never know because it's all bent into place as well which is great I hate when they give you the straight one and tell you to go bend it yourself you usually end up breaking and I end up making my own then uh, we've got our exhausts look pretty nice they're kind of semi uh, drilled out a bit not a little bit of drilling you could do on them as you can see they're kind of say they're, they're, they're countersunk, not quite drilled out, but they're countersunk. Okay, a few other bits and pieces I haven't the faintest idea what they are, but they're there. We have them. A few more little the jack block that's there, the hatches, more tool racks and things, some more tools, shovel start and handle things like that tow hooks yeah that's what they are they're tow hooks took me ages to find out what they were I did bloody well research it a long long time ago found out then that they were tow hooks we've got a fire extinguisher there we've got our jack okay so that's that's basically the bits that uh, Zavez will give you I'm going to have a quick look now so I'm going to stop the video for two seconds and have a quick look up there and see, did, did the engine, did I put the engine up there? Because I do remember Simon giving me the engine parts for it. Okay. So if they're not up there, I wonder where the effect. I did put them. So, in two seconds, I'll just have a quick look up there and see can I find them.